Hello, my name is Michael J. Russ. Welcome to Zero Adversity Life. This is my brand new show on the Beyond the 3D YouTube channel that I have. It's about bringing you people, places, things, stuff that can help you make your life less adverse, a lot less adverse. When you're experiencing less adversity in life, you're happier, more fulfilled, you make more money. In other words, you create more abundance. You have more energy to do everything that you really want to do in life. And you live with optimal health, not only now, but in the future. My first guest on this show is Gary Epler, MD. He is one of the top 50 professors in the country now for 20 years running. And he happens to be a professor at Harvard Medical School. His book, Fueled for Life, Level 10 Energy is an absolutely amazing little documentation of what, how he lives his life, what he does. He gives you five steps for success. One of those steps we're going to talk about today with Dr. Epler, it's brain waves, alpha brain waves. How to use them, what are they, how to use them, and how to harness their power and potential for you so that you can live with level 10 energy and accomplish everything you want to accomplish in life. I want you to really enjoy my conversation with Dr. Eckler, and if you have any questions whatsoever, please shoot them off to me at inquiry at michaeljruss.com. Check in with me on my social media as well. Love to hear your comments. Here's my conversation with Dr. Eckler. Hey, this is Michael J. Russ. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Zero Adversity. I've got a really, really wonderful guest with me, Gary Eckler, MD, Dr. Gary Eckler. I've given you the introduction. You know who he is. Let's jump into this because, Gary, how are you? Hey, Michael. Just fantastic. It's a great day up here in Boston. Nice, beautiful weather. I had a great run today and a good workout. I'm ready to go. You run every morning, don't you? Well, absolutely. Every morning and I work out every morning. Oh, that's absolutely awesome. You know, you're an amazing guy. We've done some things together in the past and on the radio and things. And you've got this incredible book. Uh, that I've had a, a really fun time reading over, over, and over again, Fuel for Life. Uh, it's, it's just got some awesome stuff. It's a reminder for some people. It's a primer for others. It's, uh, it, it's, it's a new bit of information that I think can, it can actually help you achieve that level 10 energy that you're talking about, you know, that, that zest in life, that in, empowered feeling, that uh, feeling of life running through your veins and your, 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 your soul and your spirit on a daily basis. And it really bleeds into everything that you do, don't you think? Well, that's level 10 energy. You just said it. it just, it, it's one of those level 10 energy days. You just have a great day. Everything goes right. You talk to people. People talk to you. Everything is just a great day. You can have those every day and you follow these five steps. And I think today we're going to talk about one of them. Exactly. Brain waves. This is something I got to tell you, just a little background. About 30 years ago, I met a gentleman by the name of Charles Givens. He was a, a millionaire businessman, wrote a book called Wealth Without Risk. And when I had a, a seminar with him for a couple of hours in, in California, he brought this concept up and actually credited this concept of brainwave uh, alpha brainwave time to his being able to not only write his books, but operate his life and his businesses. It helped kept, keep him calm. It helped manage uh, stress. It did a lot of different things for him. And he said, this was the key. This was the key. And actually at the time we did this, he actually brought a uh, biofeedback mechanism to help you understand. And we all kind of went into alpha state and, and we saw the, the biofeedback of our bodies to help us understand what it felt like. To, to demonstrate it, it was a real thing scientifically that this does happen. And I thought that was absolutely amazing because a lot of people might think, oh, geez, it's just meditation and something else. It's more than that. Now, let me ask you, what is alpha brainwave time? All right, alpha brainwave time. I call it daydreaming. That's the easiest way. Uh, it's also old-fashioned meditation. Right. But we have three or four uh, brainwaves going on at any one time. In our waking brain way, Michael, you and I are talking right now, and everybody's sort of watching. They're beta, they're in beta brain waves. That's the brain waves that keeps us going, keeps us going the right path, and lets us drive the car and so forth. And then we have alpha. Alpha is a little slower, and that's the that's the the brain wave that when you wake up early in the morning, you're dreaming, uh, rapid eye movement REM, uh, they call it sometimes. And your eyes are flickering. Mm -hmm. It's sort of very light sleep. Then theta, 
Beta brain waves when you're good, good solid sleep. That's the usual kind of sleep that you have at night. And delta is very slow, only four or five cycles per second. And that, you need to have 15 minutes of that every day, uh, every night, really. And if you don't get that, you, you go crazy. You just have to have that 15 minutes. Uh, and that's very deep. Uh, then, uh, and so the question, the issue is, if you can stay awake during that alpha time, and even theta time, phenomenal things happen. And that's really what alpha brainwave time is, is being awake and just entering that, that sort of brainwave cycle. And your brain waves are running along in that alpha rhythm. It's a little slower, it's about 10 or so uh, uh, cycles per second opposed to the 14 or 15 that we're in right now. And, and, and it just, that's just a phenomenal time, and we'll talk about uh, the benefits of that. That is absolutely amazing. The descriptions are, are spot on, and I think that that's, that kind of brings it to a level now where we gotta know, okay, there's, there's, there's meditation, and people really, they know what the word means, and some people, they automatically judge it and, and put it in a labeled category. It, it's, it's not really woo-woo. It's not something that should be in a category out there. And I think the key to what you said there that I resonate with is being awake. Now, what are the five benefits of doing this? Okay, so, so Michael, you're right. It, 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 I don't like to think in terms of meditation. It's just the time you want to, to, to experience these alpha brain waves. Lots of things happen in these alpha brain wave times. Uh, benefits, number one, stress relief. It's unbelievable. It calms you down and, and, and just wonderful stress relief. Number two, it produces these wonderful neurotransmitters, these feel-good neurotransmitters, the, uh, the dopamine, serotonin, and endorphin. I mean, endorphin doesn't get better than that. It's just a, it's a wonderful calming chemical. And you, you never get an overdose, and it's free. And, and, it, and, it, and it produces these feel-good uh, chemicals. Uh, the third one is sort of an interesting one. It, it, it equalizes our brain uh, regions. Michael, it turns out we have five brains up there, five of them. And every one of them want to be in charge. And, and <laughs> every single one about old schizophrenia, different personalities, we're all that way. We all have five up there. And they're actually anatomical. And the best one is the precortical, uh, the precortical cortex. And, and that's, the, that's the big one, the frontal brain. And that's the new one. And it takes care of it. It's the judgment. It keeps us out of trouble. It makes right decisions for us makes money for us. It does everything for us. It's phenomenal. Very powerful. The issue is it's a little sensitive. It requires sleep, requires exercise, requires good nutrition, and it requires or can certainly benefit from meditation and from this alpha brainwave time. It's the frontal cortex. And, and then what happens if we don't do these things, treat it well, the amygdala takes over. The amygdala is an ancient part of the brain, and it's the anger brain. It's the anger brain. It wants to take over 24 hours a day. It lives on no sleep, lives on junk food, and the thing that scares it away is meditation out of brain all the time. And that is awesome. That's, that's a huge thing that meditation does. It balances these, these brain waves, these, these brain realms that we have. Uh, another one, of course, is the party animal part of the brain. <laughs> Just wants to party 24 hours a day. The other is an addiction center part of the brain. And, 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 and meditation and alpha brain wave time, you put those at bay and, and, and get that healthy frontal lobe, which is just phenomenal. So, so I love that one for, for uh, alpha brain wave time. That is awesome. Stress relief. A couple more, uh, the science ones. Uh, the science ones are interesting. Uh, they basically proven scientifically. Uh, one of them is that it increases the life of the telomeres. Telomeres are at the end of the chromosomes. 
And our chromosomes, every cell in our body turns over, sometimes weeks, sometimes months, sometimes seconds. But we only have limited numbers, maybe 100 turnovers, and then that's it. <laughs> and these telomeres get shorter each time it turns over. And, and, and alpha brainwave time will actually slow that process down. That's phenomenal. Hmm. Live longer. There you go, Michael. That is amazing. All of those, I mean, that's, that's a lot of benefits. And I don't think I've ever thought about that personally myself. I just know how it feels when I do it. Okay, I, I know exactly. You feel good hormones and, and, and transmitters, and Michael. <laughs> it, is, it is amazing, I and mean, you feel so energized. And you know, uh, again, my uh, my mentor Charles Gibbons, I asked him. I said, "Well, when do you have time to do this? I mean, you're running around all the time doing five businesses." He says, "You know what? I can do it anywhere. <laughs> I can do it when you when you when you practice. It becomes easier and easier and easier to to get into alpha state. Is that right? Yeah, and then, and then now we get into how do you do it? Yeah, the how is. Yeah, I agree with you, Michael, and, and Charles Gibbon. You can do it anytime once you learn what it is. You yeah, find out what it is. The the, the, the usual uh, kind of figure, the visual that you have is somebody sitting in a chair, uh, spaced out, and saying, <laughs> that, "That's just not what what I do. That's certainly not what I do. Uh, it, it it's good. It works for some people. Phenomenal." I, I do what's called eyes open. So you can have eyes open or you can have traditional meditation. <laughs> eyes open meditation. That's interesting. I mean, I do eyes closed personally. Right. However, I'm really interested in this eyes open because I think people, we need to break, bust these stereotypes of, of uh, what people think meditation is. I mean, well, you have to. You have totally to. Too, they go, oh, I could never do that. I can't slow my brain. I, I can't do it. I can't sit there like I, my knees don't work that way. And I can't sit. <laughs> Long out. I, 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 I love to work. <laughs> I just love to work. I like to do things. <laughs> I just can't sit like okay. that. So you got eyes open and you got traditional. Now, you said you wanted to take some time to kind of show what it is that, that, that you do here. And I think it's really, really important to show this other side of things, this flip side of the coin uh, from what people traditionally think meditation is. So why don't you take it away? This, I want, I'm really interested in this. Sure. And, 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 and again, uh, traditional meditation, you think, well, you just sit there and don't think of anything. Uh, no, that's not what I do. No, no. I, it's action. It's action packed. <laughs> the way I do it, I'm open. Uh, it's on the treadmill. Every morning, I do my uh, mile to three miles up to five, depends. And sometimes I go outside and do five, six, seven, whatever. But every, every morning, at least a mile. And I'm on the treadmill. And, and there's one of those TV screens there that people watch the news and so forth, but I leave it blank. And it's kind of a haze. And I just look at it, look at my sort of right in between the eyes, the so-called third eye or whatever, but you just look, at, just look at that in the reflection. And I do three things. The first one, I think of my hand, the surface of my hand, and I think of the cells. In the cells, I think of the nucleus. It's sort of with my mind to visualize the nucleus of those cells in the molecules. And when you start to visualize, think in terms of molecules, you're thinking lots and lots and lots of space, empty space filled with energy. Then I move down to the atom level, and I put myself between the nucleus, the power, the energy, just pure energy, to the, to the swirling electrons going almost the speed of sound. I put myself right in between them. Just hang there and just feel, feel the, the energy and, and the space. And then I do three things. First, I send myself some healing energy. To breathe in, breathe out. Just some, I call this alpha healing energy. Just breathe in and breathe out. Whatever needs to be healed. Just general kind of concept. Then I move over to how am I going to help somebody today? What, sometimes it's me. <laughs> I'm struggling with something. I need some help. Uh, but maybe it's my wife, Joan, or the, the kids, or my friends. Uh, and sometimes I want to improve people's lives today. Whatever it takes. I just Whatever it is, that's what I want to do. And so you think about helping somebody. Then I move on to time. And, and, and now I'm thinking in terms of some historic event, something history. Think in terms of what, what happened in the 1800s? What happened in the 1400s? What about back in ancient time? 
And then it goes, it's just some thoughts, random thoughts, over random. And then I think right now, and then I think, well, what's going to happen over the next two or three days? Just think about what's going to happen. And then think, well, what about a thousand years from now? And, and then, boom, you put all three together, just for an instant, past, present, and future. And just kind of hang there for a second. And that's it. That's, and then I go five, four, three, two, one, go back to beta. And, and that's one of my little visualizations of you. Oh, let me say how incredible one? that is. That is Michael, you ready? That you, you, okay, the screen that you're looking at. Right. You don't actually have a picture, so your mind can't really focus on something. You put it no, that's there. the idea. It's a, it's a blank, kind of a, kind of a blank screen. A blank yeah. screen. That's the whole point. You, you, you look at your reflection, but your reflection is kind of hazy. Now, the exciting thing is, yeah. when you're an alpha, Michael, our senses, our five senses, are now operating in an alpha brainwave state. That's a different state. Your visual, what you see is going to be at the alpha level, at the alpha brainwave level. So your vision is going to be different. Mm -hmm. Your brain is going to be different. Taste, everything's going to be a slightly different, very subtle. Mm -hmm. For example, visually, you'll, you'll see what I call a kind of a, a halo around, around your, if you're looking at reflection, you'll see a halo around your head. Oh. So much for that. <laughs> you're like me. I'm telling you, we're like, we're like, a, we're like Italians. I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's one of the things that you visualize uh, when when you're an alpha. Uh -huh. You're theta, theta Michael. The senses are really, for example, you don't hear anything. Uh, awesome. You don't taste anything. You don't smell anything. Uh, yeah, that's different. that's while you're while you're in the state. It's, it's sort of like you're. Are you sensing what you're tasting? Sensing. Oh, sensing, yeah, sensing, but you don't hear a thing. I mean, you just absolutely hear nothing. I mean, you can have the music like in the gym, the music's going on, but you don't hear it. You don't hear and it, that's correct, because you're there. You know, you, zone, you kind of zone out for it, which is really... Oh, totally. You, you yeah. really do. It, but like with your in theta, it's sleep. You're paralyzed. Mm -hmm. you're crazy about sleeping. <laughs> you're, you're totally paralyzed. Awesome. That's and an amazing... The good thing about waking theta, you can actually be awake. But, but the senses, they really do change. It's an interesting kind of thing. So that is one of the realizations. Now, the other one, Michael, I like speed. It's just a good thing to do. Walk 25% faster, do things faster. It just mm -hmm. gives you energy. And this one's an interesting one because now I switch it around. <clears throat> I visualize myself sort of maybe as a, as a bird, an eagle or something, flying above your town like in Florida, and you see a state. And then you fly higher and you see the United States. <clears throat> and then you see the Earth and the, and the solar system. And you yeah. visualize. Like you're, out in, like you're out in space, just kind of. Not lots and lots of space. Lots of space. Move all the way to the, to the Milky Way. And then visualize. Move yourself all between, halfway between. Mm -hmm. Milky Way. Mm -hmm. And the end of the universe. And just hang there. And you are now going at 45,000 miles per second. Mm -hmm. That's speed. <laughs> just hang there and love that energy. I, I just feel great just feeling this energy, the speed of 45,000 miles per second. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I just hang there for a while and, and then I go back five, four, three, two, one. And back to beta. And so that's the second uh, sort of addition that I do on, on, on the treadmill. So you can do basically when when you're when you're when you go into the south of the state, wide, eyes wide open. You can do those two different ways uh, of looking at things. You can you can dissect it down to doing past, present, and future. You can you can just it's it's your it's your alpha state. You can create whatever it is you want during that particular time. I think people think that something has to be incredibly structured, that everybody has to do the same thing, all the same time, in the same rhythm, and that's not really it. It's, it's, it's your time. And Michael, that's the whole point. Yeah, it, it's personalized. You make these up. 
Yeah. You decide what you want. And yeah. again, traditionally, you think of, well, you're supposed to empty your mind and think. Well, no, you don't. No, that's, no, 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 no. You, have, you need some, some structure. It's, it's uh, mm -hmm. some structure, but you're the one that makes the structure. And that's awesome. The third one, Michael, this third one, I actually made up myself. Totally made oh. up myself. And you can make up your own. And here's how you make your own, uh, own process. Mm -hmm. You need to find a place where you're going to be going down 25 steps. That's the one thing you need. Hmm. And, and I hey, use, again, why 25 steps? Why, why that? I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, because I got to know. Go, we want to go really deep. You want to try to even get into theta. And the way you can do it is count yourself down. Relax. Okay. okay, I see what you're talking about. Okay, so, so you're, 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 you're mentally taking yourself down, a, down steps, yes. steps and steps. Uh, yes. However you decide to, to make that happen, you're in yes. a step and that, takes you deeper and that's deeper. The deeper. Point of this, no, that's okay. the point of this one. Okay, all right. And, and I, I have two of them. I use Cape Cod or a beach. And there's California, for example. There's great yeah. beaches. They're, they're, they're sort of up on top, and then you go down some steps. Right. And the other one I use is, is a mountain. And this happened to me in China. We were in China a couple of years ago, and it was called the Yellow Mountain. And, you, and you, you walk over to a place where there's a meadow, and you walk down some steps. And so you can be in the Rocky Mountains and go on a hike, with, again, with your mind, and then you walk down to a meadow. But, uh, but let's take the, the, the Cape Cod, for example, or the, the beach. And, and it's, it's helpful to visualize as much as you can. It's just good visualizations. For example, on the beach walking on Cape Cod, mm -hmm. all the way, there's the, the, the seagrass, and it's kind of blowing a little bit in the wind. Mm -hmm. Visualize that. And maybe you go across a bridge, and underneath is a, is a, is a pond or a, 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 a brook with, with, with those fish, those colored fish, the koi, the, the yellows, and, and visualize the yellows and oranges. And, and then uh, you get over to the steps. Uh, and if you're, if you're in a mountain, visualize walking to the, to the, uh, to the meadow where there, there's trees maybe on the side, maybe pine trees, maybe redwoods. Uh, and, then, uh, and, and then when you get to this place where the steps are, like at the beach, there's a railing on the left, and it's a wooden railing. And, and just visualize yourself walking down these steps, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Mm -hmm. and, and each time you sort of count, just you're kind of visualizing walking down the steps to 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. And, and you just a little deeper each time, just more relaxed and more relaxed. And then 14, 13, 12, and you get down to 10, and maybe you hear the ocean, the lapping of the waves. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you, you can see the, the flowers in the meadow. And, and then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And, uh -huh. and just very, very deep, very, very deep. This is, you might be able to get into theta if you're good at it. And, right. and you put your feet in the no shoes, just your toes on the sand. And the sand is perfect temperature. It's a nice day out. It's just... A cool breeze, but just not cold, not cold, just beautiful day. And, and your feet in the, saw, in the sand, or else they're in the meadow grass, the soft meadow grass. And if you're in the meadow, look around for the flowers, look for the yellow ones, the orange ones, the purple ones, again, colors and things like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And over on the left is a chair, soft chair, wonderful. And it's in one of those little little kind of canopies, and the wind blowing, the, the, the breeze is blowing the silk and so forth. And you sit in that chair, this is where you do theta healing. Theta healing is you breathe in the healing energy, but now you're very, very specific. Uh, if it's, it depends on what the, what the problem is, if it's an injury or a disease or process or whatever. You, say, you, you, you start to replace those damaged cells with healthy cells. You recharge the, the uh, DNA, and you recharge those dormant genes that can help you fight that particular problem. Very specific, and you can do your right. research before you do this. But that's very deep theta healing of yourself. 
Then you get up and you go over to the right and left a little bit more, and there's a pond, a very deep pond, one of those blue plant ponds. You visualize this is a sort of a grounding experience. You visualize yourself going all the way through to the end of the other side of the earth, flipping around all the way to the Everest, top of the Everest and flipping back down. It's a grounding thing. You don't want to live in this world all day. You really don't. It's fun. It's great. Alpha and Thetas are wonderful. You don't want to live there. That's not reality. You need to have that. So I use that as a sort of, hey, get me back to reality. That's more fun. Awesome. Uh, but this I use now for my Theta business. This is my Theta business time. Mm -hmm. And I think about what am I going to do the next three steps? Is it in my new organ, my new startup? What am I going to do? What am I going to do to make money? What am I going to do to start a community project? Mm -hmm. uh, whatever it is, one, two, three, literally visualize the process. Do not think of a goal. Uh, goals, uh, it doesn't help you. As a matter of fact, thinking about goals, visualizing goals actually does more harm than good. Visualize the process of getting to that goal. You know what the goal is. Every, every cell of your body knows that goal. <laughs> Visualize the process. And so I, uh, that's, that's my sort of theta business. Now, my end of it, the fun part, is I go to the delta door. Now, the delta door is off to the right. Mm -hmm. Old, ancient wooden door. Mm -hmm. Walk to it, it disappears into a golden pavilion. You walk on to the golden pavilion, it's got the fountain in the middle and people everywhere. They're tall, short, from everywhere, young, old, and they all want to be with you. Mm -hmm. You're standing, you're, you're successful, you're filled with grace, filled with joy, awesome. filled with love, gratitude, forgiveness, and you just hang there. And talk, they talk to you, you talk to them, and it's just heaven. And then that's it five, four, three, two, one, you're back to beta. So, there you wow. go, man. That is, I gotta, I can't tell you how awesome that is. That that visual journey is, 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 is amazing. I, you, I'm, you're making me want to, when we get off of this, just go try that out because it is. I mean, everybody's got their own way, and I love oh, it. that's the point, yeah. I just, yeah. I just love the, I love the journey you put yourself through. Probably one of the most interesting things that uh, I, I've, I've come across some people who actually uh, use this process on a daily basis, like yourself, and they, uh, they, they focus on that business aspect of it for, for, for part of it, uh, in, in the way that you did. And it's the, it's the journey. It's about the journey. It's about the process. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the path you're taking is more important because the goal is always a moving target it's you know it, it that changes the goal can change and morph uh as as every day goes by because you know you're you're, you're in the moment well, that that moment actually, the next moment michael they've actually looked at that and they said you know we we've, we've heard oh visualize making a million dollars visualize winning the race visualize getting an a on your paper and that's all you have to do. I'm that no, 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 don't, don't do that. <laughs> they took, they took a hundred students. It's okay. You got you visualize getting your A, and the others, they didn't say anything. And it's what happened. The students that visualized getting an A spent so much time visualizing getting an A. They didn't study. And it, <laughs> it absolutely did. No and the others. Okay, it, it, other students didn't do any alpha state or just basically study? No, the other students didn't do anything. They studied. They, okay. they used that time that these people were visualizing the A to study. <laughs> so, I, don't, I, I understand now. I mean, I, I, can understand, I can understand, you know, if you just think visualizing is going to get you the A. I think we know in, in, in reality that's not going to happen. You have to know the material. Uh, I mean, I, wouldn't, I don't know how, who would tell somebody to do that. But <laughs> I don't think I would. I can tell you that right now. And I'm just right, but you've heard these things about, oh, all you have to do is visualize and it'll happen. Uh, it's, but 
the visualizing process does work. For example, you're running a cross country race. Mm -hmm. Visualize getting in at 15 minutes or 14.26 is not the way to do it. Visualize that course. And that works. So that's why you visualize the process. The goal, the goal is we know what we want to do. You don't need to think about that anymore. It's just the process. It's the process. It's the, it's, it's the journey that you're focusing on. I, I enjoy, I enjoy uh, uh, visualizing myself uh, uh, actually going around a golf course. It's not the score I'm interested in. Work. It's, it's the playing. You know, yep. it's, it's, it's seeing the going through the motions, you know, walking to the ball, feeling what my body feels like when I, yep. when I swing and uh, going through that process. And mentally, uh, when I go out and play, I'm relaxed, and it's as if I've got a deja vu going on. I'm 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 doing what I was visualizing yep. myself that's doing. Great. You know, uh, and, and I think that's the fun you can have with it. You can take it and do do uh, whatever. And I and to me, that's just awesome. This has been this has been an an amazing uh, session. I think it's going to be very educational for many people. I wanted to focus on this out of the many steps that you have in your book because, to me, this is the one thing people need to be doing, young and old. I mean, this is, I mean, you can, you hear a lot about eating. You hear a lot about exercising. You hear a lot about getting sleep. However, the thing you don't hear about is alpha brainwave time because everybody has, it's a stigma associated with it. People, people have thought viruses. The thought virus is, I can't slow my brain down long enough to do that. I can't stop thinking about right, it. Right, 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 right. They, they bit into all, they've, 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 they basically contracted all these thought viruses and that's what's pre preventing them from actually sitting down and doing it. I'm, I'm less about, let's not make excuses about what you, what you can't do. Let's sit down and actually do it and then do it every day. And as you do it every day, you'll, you'll experience the benefits of it on a daily basis. That's the thing. People think there's going to be some, you know, far, far flung uh, uh, benefit to this whole thing. It's a benefit now. You want something that's instant gratification this is instant gratification. When you're done with this, you feel awesome. It is. That's basically it. So, hey, listen, I know you're, I know you're off uh, to uh, taking another trip. This has been an, an amazing session, and I'd love to do another one with you about another uh, step that you have in your, one of the, 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 the five steps for, uh, for success. Uh, and we'll do that sometime in the next couple of months. Uh, you're taking the time with me has been a real treasure. Uh, Dr. Gary. Epler, uh, I wish you the absolute best, and I'll make sure that uh, we'll have, of course, uh, what's, your, what's your website again? Why don't you tell our audience what your website is? Uh, sure, it's eplerhealth.com, E-P-L-E-R, health.com. If they have questions then, about this. If you like, I'll answer. Yeah, uh, excellent, and, and they can reach you through, through eplerhealth.com. Fantastic. Dr. Epler, thanks so much. Give my best to Joan. Give her a hug for me. Enjoy. Okay, Michael, thanks. Safe travels too, my friend. All right, bye. All right, bye-bye.